Okay, hey you guys, it's the SL Review. Uh, I'm back. Um, pretty much I gave up on Marvel Universe for a little bit. But, you know, I just saw this figure and Captain America being my favorite character of all time. Out of everything. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I had to pick him up. Just I had to. Um... I'm I'm pro I'm gonna continue to collect Marvel Universe. Just only the ones I think are super duper awesome. Instead of picking up every single one of them. Uh, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Steve Rogers Captain America, which is back start so you can see that. I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Um, this is of the newest wave and the last wave of series three, I believe. Yeah, last wave of Series 3. Uh, it says, Steve Rogers was changed into the perfect human specimen by the Super Soldier Serum. He was first taking the identity, ta had taken, sorry, to take it on the identity of Captain America. Blessed with superhuman abilities and an indestructible shield, he protects the people of the world as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the commander of the Secret Avengers. Commander, I mean. Uh, yeah, so you can see Darkhawk, Eltron, and Namor here. Uh, didn't get any of those. Right. I'm probably going to get Ultron, uh, but otherwise this whole wa wave kind of looks like poop, except for X-23. Um, Darkhawk, don't know who the hell that is, so I don't care. And uh, Namor, I don't know how many times Marvel Universe is going to rerun him till we re till they realize we have a couple Namors, we have a couple Iron Mans, we have a couple Spider Mans. We don't, we honestly don't care. Uh, the only my press my only request for Spider Man is that they throw in a uh, Spider Man um, Fantastic Four. That'd be pretty cool. All right, so the figure himself, he does come with a oop, he does come with a Commander Rogers Marvel Universe stand. It's pretty cool. Number twenty one. Uh, he comes with a couple accessories. He comes with a his pistol. It does come out of his hand, but I don't want to take it out, because it's kind of hard to put back in and out. And he also comes with this standard M16 with grenade launcher. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Mystique has it. You know, nothing new. A Team X Wolverine. I know there's other people that have it too. Um, yeah, it's just really nothing new. Uh, okay, so the figure himself. Uh, this figure is very, 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 very detailed and pretty freaking awesome, honestly. Um, I, I could show you, I'm going to show you a comparison to different Captain America. But this is definitely one of my favorite Captain America uniforms. My only complaint is, and the figure itself couldn't really do anything about it, because in the comics, this Captain America does not have a shield. Um, the shield is just a major trademark of Captain America, and you cannot, Marvel needs to realize, you cannot get rid of... Captain America's shield. I mean, even with Bucky Cap, I don't, I don't want to see a, a Bucky Cap without a shield. I don't want to see anything without any Captain America form. Any, the, like the, even the slightest form of Captain America, I don't want to see without a shield. So, like even the fact Captain Britain doesn't have a shield just ticks me off. Um, but yeah. Oh, oh, kill shot, kill shot. Okay. Uh, so. Otherwise, yeah, the detail, you can see, like, his hair is very, very detailed. His muscles are really detailed. Um, this red and white stripe is really detailed. They they really, really tried hard to make this figure awesome because he's been on the back of every single Series 3 figure saying collect them all. And they made Nick Fury figure really awesome. And they made the, <laughs> the Iron Patriot figure really, really cool. So... As you can see, they really worked hard on this figure, and honestly, it's just a great figure. Uh, articulation, it's got the ball hinge and swivel up at the top. Kind of sweet. Um, it's got the ball hinge at the shoulder, the stripes do, and the star is really detailed, same over here. Um, we got a swivel at the upper arm. Uh, a swivel again with <clears throat> a hinge here with the uh, elbow. I dropped his gun. A swivel at the wrist. Yeah. Um, 
a ball hinge at the upper torso, swivel at the waist, um, a ball hinge at the leg. Oh, crap, 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 but, okay, uh, be careful. Um, a swivel at the lower leg, um, a double hinge at the knee, um, a swivel at the boot. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's a nice feature. Uh, and then the broken ankle cable joints at the feet. So, overall, this is my favorite uh, Series 3 figure, I'm going to have to say, out of all of them. Just, be yes, it is favoritism. Captain America is awesome. Um, and the reason I, I say this, and I believe in myself as a true Captain America fan, because I liked him before the movie, so all you guys are saying that you 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 love Captain America now, just because the movie came out. Screw you, because Captain America's always been my favorite. <laughs> so he, he he's pretty close to Iron Man, but he just doesn't compare. How you know what you know what I'm gonna do something new. Post in the comment below if you're actually watching this video who your favorite Marvel character is below. It can be a hero, it can be a villain, it can be Howard the Duck, it can be whatever you want, I don't care. Uh, just whatever you want, your favorite Marvel character. Uh, besides comparison, well, uh, comparison look thingy. Uh, most people have, no they don't, most people have, Oops, boop, 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 boop. Um, okay. Not most people have this guy, but, He's still pretty awesome. Um, there you go. Here, if they're both on the stand, it goes like that. About the same size. These are both the same people. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright, bye.